Okay, I've just machined um, a mandrel up, it's just a, a, an off cut of steel I had. So I've mounted onto the mandrel and I think what I'm going to plumb for is probably half a mil off either side uh, and then we'll see what that looks like. So we'll take, we'll make the bracket 18 mil. Okay. Well, that's cleaned it up, and that was um, that's point two off. I think I'm going to leave it at that decisions, decisions. Just under nineteen. Uh, it's eighteen point eight. Doesn't the point two? Now I'll go. I'll take the point. I'll take point four, and then take point four off the other side. Okay, well that's, I'm happy with that. So what I'll do is, I've got to take this off here now, just deburr that, um, so that I can get it back on the jig. Um, okay. So all I do is just uh, run around the inside with a bit of emery paper. Yeah. Right, I'm going to deburr this properly um, and then I'll bring you back in once I'm setting it up. Okay. just need to tap that back against the face just to make sure that it's registered that looks fine okay so we'll touch on and um, set that to zero. Okay, we'll touch on. Okay, 
So I've set my compound slide to zero. And I'll touch. All I need to do now is touch on. I'm going to take 0.4 off this side. Just check to make sure I've tightened that up. Okay, I mean, like the other face, that's that's clean that up. But to make it even, I'll take another point to Okay. There you go. Let's clean those up. Looks good. Drop that off there. I've got to deburr that, and then I'll, it also that just needs um, deburring as well. So I'll uh, there you go. Um, it's cleaned up nicely, and I think that is the machining done on this body. It just needs. Um, the edges all breaking now just to finish it off okay